Hi everyone, welcome back to this episode of the XFIS Guide. Today I've received a few requests to do an example of the A-strand rhyming nomogram uh, that's presented in the ACSM uh, guidelines for exercise testing and prescription. The A-strand rhyming bike test is a submaximal uh, exercise test to determine VO2, um, to determine maximal VO2. Um, so submaximal means that we are using a heart rate below a maximum heart rate to extrapolate and estimate what somebody's maximal VO2 or functional capacity would be. So on the left of the screen, you see the, um, a data sheet or a, a layout of an Astrian rhyming test if it were to be done. Now I've filled in the participant's name, their age, their weight, I've converted it to kilograms, I've put in their resting numbers, and just the power outputs and heart rates, those are numbers that I just made up. Now, I'm not going to go over how to completely run the test. Um, I can do that in another presentation. For the, This is purely just an example. Um, I picked a 25-year-old male um, who would be what we call quote-unquote conditioned, so I had him at the lower end of the power output at 600 kilogram meters per minute um, and six minutes and I did do an example with a steady state heart rate so we don't have to cover any of those scenarios. So first thing we are going to do is to find the steady state heart rate um, and if they're within six beats of each other. Um, they are within six beats of each other here, um, the 154 and the 160. Uh, they do need to be within a certain range. They need to be, I believe for the A-strand test, it's between 125 and 175. Um, but check the ACSM manual um, to verify that. But these are within six beats. So then what we do is we find the average of the two. So we just add the 154 and the 160 together. That gives us 318. Then divide that 318 by two, it's two numbers, and we get 157. Once we have our 157, we match the average heart rate, that's that 157, to the pulse rate on the nomogram. So you'll come over to the nomogram over here, you'll find the pulse rate. In this example, it's male, so we're going to plot 157. We're going to plot 157, as you'll see right there by that red dot, it would be about right there. And then what we want to do is plot the workload that this heart rate was achieved. Um, so the workload was 600 kilogram meters per minute so you want to come over here all the way to the right again find if it's male or female and then plot the workload so 600 be right about there then the next step is to draw a line connecting the pulse rate and the workload so you would draw a straight line across there and then you want to plot where that line lands on this VO2 max um, column here. And this is VO2 max in liters per minute. Keep that in mind. So it's going to fall right about there, right at about 2.1 liters per minute. So that number would then go into the subject's predicted VO2 max in liters per minute. For an age of 25, the corrected score is just it's multiplied by one, so it's the same. It would just be 2.1 liters per minute. And then what you'd want to do is you'd want to go and convert that into a relative VO2 max. Um, very quickly, what you would do with that is you would just multiply the 2.1 times 1,000 and then divide it by 81.81. So because that's the body weight, so essentially you would take the 2.1, multiply it by 1,000, and divide that by 81.81, and that would give you 25.6 mLs per kg per minute. And the reason why you want to do that is because you always want the VO2 in relative terms, so milliliters per kilogram per minute, when you're talking about normative values and you know what's normal for a person of this age, what's normal for a person with chronic kidney disease, what's normal for, we always do that in milliliters per kilogram per minute so that we can have it relative and that we can keep everybody in a level playing field um, versus the absolute of two liters per minute. So I hope that this was a good example of how to use the uh, Astrian rhyming bike test uh, nomogram. There are other ways um, of finding um, VO2, and this is just one example of a sub-maximal test to do that.